Hi, I'm here with Marina Brown of Werner Enterprises. Uh, Marina is going to be speaking about machine learning at this year's Infotech, April 2nd. Marina, astronaut Tom. Nice, nice to meet you, nice astronaut to meet you. Tom. Sometimes I call myself Apollo Man. That's a great name. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. It's a pun on Apollo. You know the Apollo mission, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Any geek would know that, right? Yeah, well, of course. And I do consider myself a geek. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wasn't involved with the Apollo mission, um, but I like to pretend that I was. That's more than fine. Yeah. So uh, talk a little bit about machine learning. What is it? So machine learning is a subside to artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And now there's a lot of hype around how some people describe it. Um, but bottom line is it comes to a lot of mathematics and a lot of data. Oh, that's terrifying. It is terrifying. But as an astronaut, I know all about that. Yeah, I'm sure you went through a lot of classes yes. on, on sciences. Um, it, in its very basic form, machine learning is pure modeling for mm -hmm. anyone who's had more uh, gra undergraduate or graduate level classes in mathematics or statistics, a lot of modeling, and then these models learn off of data. To be honest, when we first started exploring machine learning, one of the biggest questions for me was, how do machines learn? What is that black box that someone can crack to say, how does this model learn? And then if you're going to attend my presentation on Tuesday, then I will definitely crack that out for you. But it is the data that feeds these models that is actually the biggest gold behind machine learning. Wow. Is there any chance that uh, one of these machines could take my job as a fake astronaut? Yeah, that's an age old question. And I'm I've been sure wondering it for a long time. <laughs> I am sure that the people during the Industrial Revolution were worried about the same thing, and even the people before that were worried about the same thing. All those thing. Industrial Revolution astronauts. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think so, Tom. <sighs> okay. Because this is the thing about um, not only machine learning, right? Machine learning is just one of the advancements that our society has made over the past you know, centuries. It wasn't much different for people as part of the Industrial Revolution when they worried will all of the machines that were developed at the time were going to take their jobs away, and that's not what happened. Maybe there was a very short time hardship blip, but in the long run, we ended up creating a lot more jobs than there were previously. And I think this is what's going to happen with uh, the advancements in machine learning. Yes, some jobs, and probably the ones that are very repetitive in nature, may be eliminated, but in their place, we are going to create new markets, new products, new offerings and services that will require a lot of people that are going to have to support that. So if you imagine, for example, before computers even existed, right? And once they came into the picture, people were afraid, computers are going to take my job. Jobs transitioned. They went from a lot of manufacturing to a lot of service jobs, and then you created a whole new field of computer developers, of which we now educate millions and millions of people to become programmers. That's something a really that good point. wasn't there before. Yeah. Um, so it's not about taking jobs away, it's about transitioning from one type of jobs to another. I see. So, well, that all sounds exciting. I can't wait to see your speech on uh, at Infotech April 2nd. Thank you. I Marina. hope everybody shows up. I do too. You better. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you.